Hi there, my name is Lavender Snake Plays, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now this video is going to be a little different, because I won't be playing on my normal survival world, I'll be playing on a different world I have. So let's get started. Okay, so we're now in the world, and, and this is actually a pretty good world. So basically, the way this world works, is it's, at, its, at the surface, it's like a normal survival world, although a little OP one at that, because I have a light and full diamond gear. But it's a bit different, because I, I actually started this off in survival, in all survival world, but then I actually, the, 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 like, in fact, this world has no cheats, so if I try to go into cheats, like, I have no cheats. However, I explain how I haven't played gold diamond gear, and I explain how I have an entire room full of command blocks. I can do all sorts of stuff, like, like let's say, like, these are definitely commands. Like, um, actually, let's try this one. Um, hello, yeah. Eh. This is actually a bit of an old world, and I haven't updated it since a while. So basically, the reason I'm on this world today, not my normal world, is because I just needed a break, because I can't think of anything to do in the other survival world. So basically, might as well give you a tour. Ow. So let's start with me. So, I'm pretty OP, as you can see. I've got helmet with way too much gear on, and unbreakable, like, this is all unbreakable, by the way. And an elytra, that's, an, well, you can't put much on an elytra. Then you have leggings with a bunch of protection. Then you have eleven snakes boots. Yeah, <laughs> this is my old username. Well, you used to be eleven snake, not eleven snake plays. Anyway, so, like, feather falling, because, let's say, I oh, would just take a fall. Two, one and a half hearts of damage from that to that. That's like nothing. Yeah, so let's have a tour of the world. This is actually a pretty cool world. And basically, it started with a mine. And okay, and that. Let me explain. Why do I have so many diamonds? Why are the diamonds for look, look like stone? Why is the redstone? Oh, look, more diamonds. Oh, by the way, my pickaxe. Efficiency and tariff level dot twenty. Fortune X. So basically, my fortune is 10. Eleven snake sword. Sharpness 100. Now, you may be wondering, why have I not put 32k on this? The reason for that is because I just don't really feel like putting 32k and stuff. And when I made this world some four years ago, and I upgraded it to like a, what I call a, a creative survival hybrid, which we'll talk about in a second, that is... I didn't put 32k on because I didn't know what 32k was. I wasn't that I wasn't that big and like I was just wasn't that good at playing games back then. Well, of course I was because I, I created this world back then, but I just didn't know much about the game in general. Anyway, so let's start a tour over here. This is my house, and it used to be a bit different, but I I, I, I tore it down, totally rebuilt it. And this is a dog pen, by the way. I have don't have a use for these guys yet. So basically, this is a chest, also construction. Not a bunch of junk in there. I have a crafting table in the middle of Nova. Why is this in there? Let's go inside. So, we have some red. Like, I'm using a text pack, by the way. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'll also leave a link to this world in the description. So, so this is actually redstone. Actually, I'm just going to learn this texture pack. Let's see. Load. Yeah, so this is how it looks like without the texture pack. I just I have a texture pack because it just looks a little nicer. So obviously it's going to switch on and off as my bed. And if we go upstairs, there's it's a bit dusty up here, not much up here. And under here is where the lights are. And if we go downstairs again, wait, where are the stairs? No, oh, there they are. <coughs> if we go downstairs, and then we have the normal room. And then, this actually has like a, what do you call it, a little like area inlet into the house. And then this is my old cobblestone generator. And the way it works is you get one of these totally, totally not overpowered pickaxes. And you just, someone here noise it. Ah, you change, destroy block to something like L, no. Space. Okay, I'll just leave it in a bit. Basically, the way it works is one of AFK. I get this pickaxe. Come on, where is it? 
you. Alright, switch this on. I push it out, then I then for it, then it'll generate cobblestone. So I'm just holding down my left click button, but I, I could change that to a button on my keyboard. So as you can see, that piston is pushing in and out. And it, yeah, and I'll go into this hopper here. Let me switch it off. I'll go into the hopper there. And I get it knee, I get some cobblestone. Why do I have so much cobblestone, you may ask? Well, I'll get to that in a sec. <coughs> this is so. I used to annoy, I used to generate a lot of cobblestone using that generator. Well, a different generator, but yeah. And I have way too much cobblestone. Goes all the way to here. <laughs> Not to there. Oh, there's a lot of cobblestone here. And then if we go out here. Now, this is actually like a bit of. Actually, I'll show you. This is how big the there he is. It's pretty big. <coughs> so anyway, the cobblestone generators. Oh, and by the way, I do have I have a tower of every single block that is in the game here. I actually mine this in the vanilla, like the, the command blocks only just cause of like that. Now, yes, I did build these in in creative mode. In fact, this generator, <coughs> not that one, but this one. This one's powered by nothing but command blocks, and it's designed for not one. But two players on this world mining away at this five core generator. By five core, I mean every every single time a tick runs in lava, it generates cobblestone with water. Pistons push five blocks of cobblestone out to be mined. Every single, I, th I just call it lava water tick. And then use all different commands you can turn because you can turn every single one, every single piston on and off. And you can go slow and fast, tick speed. And, he's, and this is where you collect it all. Then you'd put it into these two high-speed hopper chests. And this is more like just a non-functional but like nice part of the world. This is also built in creative mode. It isn't really finished though. I had this like t robe where I output cobbles into trucks. Then they take it across this nice bridge. And he's look, he's look at it <coughs> on, on this road all the way through here. Now, up through here, and this is this was going to be a city, but then I cancelled it. I don't know why. Hm. Maybe we'll look at that in this episode, you never know. Anyway, so <coughs> let's just keep flying. Oh, my well, So I'm I'm low on Elytra, that's what I do. Normally, I just kill some creepers or do something. Actually, I don't know how to craft Elytra. Yeah, typical. <laughs> and not Elytra fireworks. <sighs> anyway, so what are they? Yeah, let's check them. This is another random house. So let's go back to our main house. There's a secret room in my house. It's not a secret anymore. I'm showing it to you on my YouTube video. But when you click this button here, and this room is underneath my house, but I'm not telling you where it is. And then you can actually switch. Well, it used, it used to work, but since I changed my name to Love and Snake Plays, it doesn't work. It's, this is this world all set up for Love and Snake. Anyway, so there we go. More fireworks. Let's put that in there. And then get it over here. Let's get out of here. And I'm gonna load my text pack back on because I I built this world for it. Oh, come on. Loading. No, it's gonna take a while now. <coughs> There we go. Took a while. <laughs> oh, yeah, so basically, the way this system works. Wait, wait, wait. So, you take the cobblestone over here. Come on, fly. And then, then that will be fed through those hoppers that I showed you earlier. And, uh, oh, this is, this is a different cobblestone generator. It's a four core one this time. It's the big axes. I'll, sh I'll show you the way you're meant to get in the sea when you don't have a light for uh, It's just a random corner. Anyway, oh, here we go. It's a ladder. So you go down in here. This one's actually built in creative mode, but, but didn't lose command blocks. So basically, this is a four corner city. So control it. Then this is the output. No, actually, no. The, those hoppers I showed you earlier, they output to here. 
then someone here, well, this is the output, this is the output for that one. Then you put it into these two chests, and this is, and when you're in full capacity, this is where you'd put store extra cobblestone, you couldn't get away. Anyway, so, when you want to exit or entry here, you actually use these bubble pop from the elevator. Then, you get on this drawer. This is how it works. Pretty cool, yeah. And then, when you output that cobblestone, it'll travel along these hopper pipes, and then it'll hide, and then it'll get output into one of these two rooms. Or, I think it's this one, yeah, it's this, it's this room. It'll come out here, then you store it here, and let me tell you how much cobblestone I have. So, see this? Each of these shulkers contain is, is full with cobblestone. And I have a chest for that. Then I have another chest full. Well, some of a chest full. <coughs> Let's get out of here. And uh, this room will show you that later. <coughs> Actually. And then this is my aquarium. I have cows and a bunch of different, all the different colors of sheep. This is the farming area. This is, this used to be, this was a, well, I have yet to build a potion room in there. Then this is where I store every single type of food and, yeah, to get all the food in here. All my different food. Let's say I want, I don't know, potatoes? Potatoes. And I have two automated farms, if we go up here. Well, I also have a few fa other farms, so let's say, I, where is this stuff? Oh, and slice, yeah. Um, this, I, I actually play this world on peaceful, because I just don't really like monsters. And this is my nether wart farm. And this, these are my two automated farms. One, one, one sugar cane? No. <laughs> Bamboo, and that one sugar cane. And the way it works is when this gets up, an observer over here will sense that it's grows that it's growing. Then they'll send tell these pistons to push out, breaking the stalks. Then this hop this minecart with hopper will pick it up <coughs> and then put it into these hoppers down below. If I get out of here. And then I'll show you what that is over there later. So this these are my farms and Let's say I have this melon slice without smashing the ground. I go take it to here and put it in here. I also have wool. And I also have unbreak bushes for no reason, just to gain the sheep. And I need to start putting fireworks everywhere. And these are my cows, and then I'll show you this. So then you walk up here. So I use a, an extent and a farming mod that adds more stuff to the game. There's a link to that in the description. So, it has, like, what is this stuff? Wait, so we have, yeah, so these are oats. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to have not given me any. I don't know why. Come on, give me oats. Yeah. And I just, I just recently put this, this world on 1.16.4. Maybe it's a bit glitchy. I'm much more scared the game's gonna crash right now because it's the first time I've played this world with this mod 1.14. What do you call it? 4. And not 1.14, 1.16.4. What is it with me today? This way I have a bunch of other crops. I think this is squash. Then we have. Uh, this is how so many crops are just planted seeds and just let it grow. Then we have this warehouse for storing all of that. I know that's peas. Peas? Ugh, oh, okay. How do you say it? Peas. There's some grapes. So I have all the different food in that mod that this mod adds. And I've, I have way too much storage. What's in here? Then I have. I then also have way too much dirt for no reason. I have way too many shulkers. Because that was also. I also cheated, cheated that in. And then this room, this is my furnace room. Well, auto furnace room. The way it works is you put. It want to be smelted up there, and I'll demonstrate it later. So basically, across this bridge. So basically, let's say you're in the mines, and you're mining away. Without smashing into half the walls. Then you, with your super OP pickaxe, you mine small vein of gold. When I actually need a word, I don't actually. I just come down here and I just, with my OP pickaxe, just mainly mine away. So let's say I want one block of diamond gets me two diamond. Come on. 
I'll give you three. And then, just with that, really hacking away, I got some five diamonds out of some six blocks, I think. Can I? Can I get it? Nah, yeah. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now, I'll get some coal to show you how it works. So, when this world actually... Oh, and let's say I don't have too much junk in inventory. Sticks, I don't need you. Why? <laughs> Come on! Oh, yeah, fly. No, no, no. Alright, and there we go. Alright, so let's say. <coughs> so that would all go in this chest. And then, really, the character would actually go down and in back into the mines and keep mining. But what's actually going to happen all, is that, that c comes with this pipe system through hoppers into this room. And then, if we wait, I'm just going to cut to when it's there. Okay, so the reason I just, I just remembered I built this world so long ago. When I put it in that chest, it actually goes to here, into the into the first room. There we go. And there's a stuff. I forgot. I haven't played this world in so long. So basically, coal would go in there, but I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm going to take some out. So let's say I have some gold blocks that need to be smelted. I put them. This is a blast furnace, so I put it in here, up there where I want it going. It'll go into this hopper and into the blast furnace. <coughs> So basically, I can put so many, I can put so, the amount of stuff I can put in here at one time over one furnace is incredible. So when it goes out here, it's always, I swear, I go by that hopper into this chest. There we go, some gold ingots. So let's say you need to add, or you put in some coal. The way that will work, you go into this chest, and you put the coal in there. That's how it works. And I have plenty of coal. And then anything that smells or just stuff needs to be sorted. That's what gets put into this one, where it's safe and away by hoppers again. Then I'm just gonna not wait. I think I'll just come across this and get some. So this is already safely away the diamonds. Come on, smelt. Okay, so it's decided to smelt. Took me a while. Well, it a while, not me. So let's go. So then they'll come in here. And then after it's been smelted, then it will come into this chest where I can get it. And that smooth quartz block is... I was trying to figure out why I wasn't getting it, and then I realized... Come on. <laughs> oh, it's not like it was not the most useful item. There we go. <laughs> mm. Alright. Come on, come in. There we go. Alright. Plus I've got my ingots and diamonds. <coughs> so for gold, I put it in here. No. And then, however, for diamond, diamond, <coughs> diamond would usually go in here. But uh, what I actually need to do is the thing. This here's roof. This roof is made entirely of diamond blocks. I don't know why. It's, I just want to show up with it's So what I actually do instead of just putting it, the diamonds away. I actually find a crafting table, come on, a crafting table, a single crafting table, please. Fine, this whole house should do it. <coughs> Why haven't I haven't put the glass in here, anyway. <coughs> Alright, so I craft all the diamond blocks I can. Then what I do is I take those all the way up to here. No, without riding the horse. I take all those diamond blocks all the way up to here, and then mid-flight I add some more fireworks. And then I take that diamond block and I place it. <coughs> and then I fly all the way to here and put the remaining diamonds that couldn't be crafted back away. For next time. Alright, so I have in here over here in the small area, I have more crab <coughs> crabs, cows. And I have two pens of sheep and I have a pen of nothing. And then over here this what is this hut? This random hut, I don't know what the and so this is like a really experimental. It's meant to be a TNT cobblestone generator. Currently, it's nothing but well, it's if we a if I actually get it to function right occasionally, it does. I think I've had maybe two times which generates cobblestone, but not really. But when it should, when it's actually functioning right, it outputs all this cobblestone into all these different chests because this has a mega output load. And and then you put that into here, and it, 
That then it would get that cobblestone would get siphoned away <coughs> into here. This this place. This isn't this is this is the other cobblestone storage room. Alright, so the, the the other room is in this world. Are all the all, all the ores and valuables. Then I have my end portal and I'll show you the, all the end stuff. And and like I said, I don't I don't I, I don't play in hard or easy. I play in peaceful. Let's dive into the end. So basically, I've I think I put I did this in creative mode for no reason, but I built a small a small little hole, hut. Then I'll show you that. This is the return portal. And it's it's cuz. Then this is how you get up top. Then this this room is designed so you could have Enderman, but basically the way it works is yeah. And then there's the, you know, the I, th I can't remember if I defeated the dragon on with cheats or what, but in survival, I don't, I'm pretty sure I did the v dragon cheats. Anyway, so let's say you want to get out of the end, and you just want to stay in here. You jump into here. Why am I in here? Oh, that's right, my spawn point's in this room. I forgot to show you. This is like a, a tree house of sorts. This is where you go. It's like a, it's like a tiny little thing. This is my this is my nether portal. And the uh, the correct way to actually get up here is not via elytra. If you don't have elytra, you actually enter in through here. And then alternatively, you also have a ladder. <coughs> then I have my my nether related stuff, of course, most of dust, a lot of nether rack, and some quartz ore. <coughs> so let's go in here to the nether. I haven't done much in the nether, and no, I'm not using fireworks because. I don't want to die of lava. <coughs> anyway, so I haven't done much in here though. I've just made a few stairs, and that's it. Although I have done way too much excavation for no reason. I don't like the Nether. I'm gonna get out of here. Nether scaly. Anyway, back in the overworld. <coughs> So basically, over here, this isn't a light for runway, so what you do is you'd come in for landing, and, and I, I hold tab while landing, and then l let's say you wanted to launch, so, because, okay, I used to have this world on the actual server, and I took it down, but let's say I go up here, <coughs> then you take off, then you press space, and then you take off, although I'm so clever, if I just land, I can take off. Like that. <coughs> anyway, so this, so that's pretty much it for this world. However, there's one last thing. This is like a a road that has minecarts and even has a hopper system for no reason, and it goes so it goes for so long. So if I just keep going, keep going. Wait, what's the answer? Wait. Ah, I forgot to forgot to look for these. There you go. Anyway. There's a pillager outpost. So th this is what I've been doing lately, and that's why I have all this stuff for me. And I, st I, I still have a lot to build. Basically, I just keep laying cobblestone. It's like this world that continues forever. There's a good oats there. So that's pretty much it for this world. Thanks for watching. Make sure to, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!